Donald Trump not here. Demonstrators gathering today, putting out messages tonight. It's for peace. But some fear that clashes with hate groups could get ugly. 10 News reporter Emily Fode is live in front of the convention center where Trump is speaking tomorrow. Emily. So this is where it's all going to happen tomorrow. I just spoke with someone from the Trump camp. They just went inside. You can't see it, but I'm told there is some hustle and bustle activity. The preps are underway behind those doors. I want to show you across the street. We have one support sign already there. It says Trump for USA president. We found quite a few protesters today. So what we're doing right now is the overpass light brigade. Basically just saying, love Trump's hate. Noah Rickardson is 23, never protested anything before. On some issues, I'm Democratic. On some issues, I'm also more conservative. Not a Trump fan. This is such a serious threat to the tone of our nation. Oh. Speaking of threats. And we find out it may happen tomorrow morning. At Chicano Park in Barrio Logan. We don't know who they are exactly. We just know it's the, they're hate groups that are anti-raza, that are anti-Latino, that are anti-people of color. The Navy sent out an email warning people. We heard that they may be coming to the park tonight um, and burning uh, a Mexican flag. Neighbors like Kiki Ochoa rallied. This park is a sacred place for, for Latinos. The hate group didn't show. Action because they know that there was a response. We're expecting a lot of people here tomorrow. They will march to the convention center protesting Trump. To make our united voice be heard. Love Trump's hate group will be there too. Kind of promoting a peaceful way to let our voices be heard. And I did reach out to the San Diego Trump group to try to get some of them making preps for tomorrow, but I did not hear back from them by press time. You can bet we're going to be out here in full force covering it from every angle. I'm live in downtown Emily Thode, 10 News. All right, Emily, let's hope both sides stay peaceful. Thank you.